Hey, this is everybody with Lady Shibidi here, and today we are on some Clash of Clans as always, as usual, typically. We've been doing a lot of Clash of Clans lately, so I shouldn't say as always, but we're on some Clash of Clans, and we've got a fun episode with a fun goal for today. For one, I just took a defense on this base and won. I... I don't know how, this base I made years ago, and it is the best, just funny troll base that accidentally worked I've ever made. And again, I haven't like, I, I kind of remade it strategically, sort of, kind of. There's definitely more work I could do to this base to make it better than it is, which I might do eventually, but dude, it's, it kicks ass! Well, we're going to check out the defensive replay on this base. And then after that, as you can see by our trophy count, we're at 3992, so one more attack to get us into 4,000, and then we're going to go, actually, I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to right away all the way up to damn near 4,100, and then we're going to use the top player strategy, whatever he's using in his camps, we're going to use that strategy to get ourselves into Titans League 1 for the first time in several months, which is going to be very, very exciting. In the meantime, I'm going to do a Fortnite stream, so if you guys were there for the Fortnite stream, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But for now, I'm actually going to start boosting up everything, because I'm doing a humongous session. Let's collect, uh, let's collect all this, <laughs> let's get all these tombstones out, let's not upgrade that. Also, yeah, I haven't really uh, maxed out my barracks yet, don't make fun of me. Okay, that's all boosted up. Goody, goody. Now let's go watch this replay. 34% on my troll base from a Titans League 3 player. Now he dropped a balloon. Very, very smart. Dropped a balloon just to check if there's any clan castle troops and uh, to lure out any traps in the middle. And as you can see, this base does not look like a dead base. If he sees this base, if anyone sees this base, you should automatically assume, you know, this, this base is roaring and ready to go. So he's going with a lot of the Lunian attack. He obviously is lower leveled because his, um, his hounds aren't maxed out and his warden is only level 7. And he does have some... Uh, one of these haste spells going in. So he's moving forward, looking like he's trying to knock out the two-star. Now this base is made to direct all of the troops around the sides, the defensive troops as in balloons, golems, giants, anything like that around the sides of the base. He did not have any free spells, so the troops in the middle are going to get absolutely destroyed. There's a king and queen. He's got the baby dragon in the middle. He's really hoping right now that he'll be able to pull through. The king's ability has been used. He got destroyed right there. Queen's ability is used right now. She is not doing much better. In the middle of this base has held up perfectly that lava on the clan castle is going to keep the queen occupied she's going to get destroyed by every defense and that is going to be all she wrote and i also have an inferno tower down by the way and he's going to throw down the haste spell just kind of as a last minute effort and a couple seconds left and that's going to be that that was a super quick super easy win right there with our troll base actually for a massive 26 trophy gain so i am definitely down for that so that was a great win and that's actually what got me to 39.92 because i did take a loss right there which i'm not going to show it was a 49 percent almost killed myself but now before i go do this fortnite stream and before we use the top player strategy, we're going to take out our normal strategy right here, as we do, and uh, we'll be breaking the 4,000 trophy mark, and then onto that 4,100, so let's go grab this! Whoa! Oh my god! Okay, this is exactly what I was looking for. We got Wong here with 30 minus 19, one of the highest trophies we could get right here. His Eagle Artillery is under construction. Is his queen even up? His queen's not up, and the dude's got 848,000 elixir in five... Wow! This, this is the perfect raid. This was meant to be. Now, the question is, where do we attack from? I'm going to go from... I think I'm gonna go from this side over here, or should we go from the top? We're gonna go. We're gonna go from up here. Yeah, we're gonna do this side. Okay, lava hounds in. We're gonna throw. Oh god, those are archers. Lava hounds in. Arch archers in. And then here come the balloons. I don't use my clan castle often, but we're gonna use the clan castle right there, and then all of the minions as well. And that's only because this base is humongous in loot, and I do not want to miss out on any of it. So we're we're using the clan castle. We're going all out right now. Okay. Free spell gonna go down on the first, first free spell is gonna go down on the first Inferno Tower, and then we'll get another free spell on this Inferno Tower, and on that Air Sweeper, and then the Rage spell right in the middle, oh my god, we are literally annihilating this base. King Queen gonna go in early on the bottom left, just because I want them in on the fight as soon as they possibly can, because I want them to do as much damage as they possibly can. Now, Warren Special Video we use right now, gonna keep all those balloons alive, let's get some Wall Breakers on this side, along with some Archers, oh my gosh, the Queen's getting smacked up, we gotta keep an eye on her. Um, Queen's ability, you know what, she, uh, Queen's ability now, King's ability now, okay. We just gotta keep everything alive now. The Warden is at full health. We just annihilated this base. Oh my god. I have not done a attack this good in a very long time, and I'm very happy I just recorded that. We murdered this guy. Uh, like 100%. But there's still two minutes left. We just 100% of him. What just happened? This is one of those raids where everything is lined up perfectly. The stars have aligned. Not... I am speechless! We just- I have not destroyed a base, three-star to max base, that fast in a long time. And we just got well over, what, 1.3 million, 1.4 million in loot, 3,700 Dark Elixir, 30 trophies, and a 100% loose bonus for Champions League 1, bringing us up to 4,022 cups. We just mauled that! Oh my god! Okay, I'm gonna do some off-screen attacks, and we're gonna be right back once we're able to get to 4100. Hey, leave a like on the video right there for that attack! That was insane! Oh my god! Let's go for 
2,000 likes on this video. Can we do it? I don't know. I'm going to be right back when we can get to Titans League level one. All right, we're back with the uh, top player's strategy. We've got four Barbarians, four Archers, 10 Wall Breakers, one Baby Dragon, one Minion, 10 Valkyries, one Golem, 15 Bowlers, and then one Rage, two Jump, and five Earthquake spells. Well, four with the fifth being the clan castle one. And I have no idea how to use this, and luckily we found this dead base right here, and this is exactly how we're going to tackle this base. I'm assuming this strategy does hold a golem uh, in the clan castle, and we don't have that. <clears throat> luckily this base is dead, so we don't really have to worry about it. And uh, this, should, this should be an easier attack, to be honest here. I'm going to go in from this corner right here, so we're going to go golem right there, and then we're going to use the king on this side to tank, actually. And then I'm going to get a couple of Valks in, and then let's get one, two, three, four, five, and then like, eh, around five, but eh. All right, King's ability's got to be used a little bit early. Let's get the Queen. Let's get the Warden. Let's get some Wall Breakers going in on all these walls. You know what? I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just throwing stuff in. Let's get those guys there. Let's get uh, some Valkyries over here. Let's get the... Uh, I, think, I think with this, we are now going to push in as far as we can into this base. So let's go... Jump spell here, which is going to help all of those troops get over the walls into the middle. And let's go with the Rage spell. Let's do the four Earthquakes just right here. I don't know what I'm doing right now at all. Not even a little bit. We're kind of just going in and hoping it works. Okay, we're definitely moving through this, like, very, very solidly. We'll drop uh, another jump spell. Uh, we'll drop it right here. That looks like a pretty good spot for a jump spell, huh? Okay, we still have the Queen's ability. We still have the cool Warden's ability. We still have the Baby Dragon and kind of like those cleanup troops. And we're going to be using those hardcore on this side of the base because it's looking like we're going to have a little bit of a hard time kind of getting through the rest of this. So let me use the Warden Special Ability right now because we've got a lot of defenses firing on all of our troops. And I want to make sure they're able to get through and do as much damage as possible to the rest of these defenses while we kind of still can. Um, yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be a tricky 3-star for even able to get close to it. I, I, felt, I felt like we would be able to easily grab this 3-star, but I don't know, guys. I'm looking at it now. It's going to be tough. If the Queen can take out a majority of these air-targeting defenses, uh, we're not going to have too hard of a time taking this 3-star out, but if she doesn't, then we're going to definitely have a hard time taking this 3-star out. Okay, Queen's ability's got to be used right now. We have pretty much everything down except for this Archer Tower right here. So what I'm going to do, 59 seconds left, I'm going to put in... The Lava Hound and the Balloon right there. I'm going to do the Baby Dragon and the Minion over here. And, uh, oh no, that didn't take that down. Uh, boy. Well, that's a rest in peace. That's an RIP. Oh, God. This was, uh, this was poorly executed. Could have been done a lot better. I'm just going to put the barbs right there just because I'm Dark Elixir. Oh, gosh. Well, this was our first ever attempt with this strategy. I did just waste my Clan Castle troop, which is, uh, just annoys me. Um, oh god, and we have 30 seconds to clean up as much as we can. We got the 2-star, so I'm not too worried about that. And then we did get a ton of loot, like a ridiculous amount of loot out of this space. Although, unfortunately, we have a lot of Dark Elixir that we didn't clean up. I should have put the minion up here. Um, oh man, that Lava Hound, was that was such a waste of a Lava Hound. Oh gosh, well, 15 seconds. This was our first ever attempt at this strategy. We're going to have another one. We're going to do one more attack, but this will get us 10 plus trophies which will knock us over 4,000. So I'm perfectly satisfied with the outcome of this raid, although it could have been oh, a lot better. We definitely could have 3-starred this if I would have done a little bit faster on the bottom. Actually, we couldn't have 3-starred this because there were a lot of air defenses at the bottom that would have destroyed those cleanup troops. Either way, a lot of loot right there, 10 trophies returning back home, so that's going to give us a total of 4,103. Oh, that's Titans. What am I saying? Oh, I was saying 4,000. I don't even know how high in trophies I was. We got 4,001 or 41,000, 4,103. God, which means... Boom! We're back in Titans League. Make sure to leave a like in the video because we are now in the Titans League going towards Legend. Oh my god, that's exciting. Yes, we're finally, we finally got our gold badge back. That's great. Let me request and get some troops in here. We're just going to go Houndquake just because I, I don't know. Also, we've got 9.9 .9 million elixir, which means we should and could do an upgrade right now in our laboratory. I don't really use any of these troops, so upgrading is almost a waste of elixir at this point. But I feel like out of this list of troops, I probably will use the miner more than anything, although 10 million for the pack. Can I get 10 million real quickly here? Yes, I can. Wow, that was easy. All right, yeah, okay, we'll do the tech with that guy. We're going to be upgrading the P.E.K.K.A. here from level 6 on over to max out level 7, which will be a two-week 10 million elixir upgrade. Boom, there we go. That's going down right there. Awesome. So now we have zero elixir, but luckily we do have a clan castle full of loot, so we're going to collect that. That's going to be a ton right there. Nice, and actually we're now almost, we almost have enough dark elixir to upgrade our queen over level 45, and we almost have enough gold for our next upgrade. We probably will, I don't know, probably try to work around 10 million and then do something with it. We'll have to see. But 4103, I'm now training up another attack with this strategy. We're going to try one more time and then call it a video. So, it's, GG's. Oh, boy, we got a big base right here. We got Inauton Kumin. And we've got a 
just a massive amount of loot. Only eight trophies minus 34, so we literally cannot lose this. Otherwise, we have screwed ourselves. And uh, this, I don't know, this base looks a little bit, it looks a little bit on the tricky side, but I do think we can pick this apart. Uh, no, no problem, but we're gonna have to see on this one. Oh, this is gonna be tough. It's gonna make it even more tough that I only have one golem. That really doesn't help my case. Uh, but let me see. We've got 10 wall breakers. I really only need to break open this wall right here. So one, two, three wall breakers in. That should get it. Yep, there we go. Nice. And then we might need four on this side. Let's go one, two, three, four. Oh, God, they went the wrong way. Oh, jeez. I'm just spamming them in now. All right, you know what? We got that wall open right there. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, we got those two compartments open, which is great. And then I'm going to drop a jump spell right here. Now we're going to go watch this. Golem in on the right side. And we're going to drop a bunch of bowlers in behind that. And then we're going to go Barbarian King right here with Queen and Warden. We're going to go Valkyries in on the, a bunch of Valkyries on that side. And then some Valks in over here as well. And we'll get some bowlers just to help. And then some bowlers right down the middle. Now... This is the push right here. This is what we're doing. I don't know if this is the right way, but this is the way that we're taking it all. All right, we're going to throw down the jump spell right there going towards the middle. Let's get the rage spell going as well. And we're going to use the warden special ability right now because everything's in the middle of the base. All right, warden's ability used. We're going to go one, two, three, four earthquakes right there. We'll throw down the poison. Oh, my God, king's ability. Okay, this is, this is, this is working well. This is working, guys. Kind of, sort of. The King's ability we should have used about a year ago because he just got smacked and we could have saved him if we used the Warden's ability a little bit earlier. Let's keep it on the Queen. Oh my god. Okay, Queen's ability used right there. She got shot by literally everything in the middle of the base. Alright, Queen's doing great actually. Nice. Okay, we just we just wrecked this base. That strategy is good. This is a really good strategy. It destroys bases very fast. Very fast. But at the same time, you can get destroyed very fast as well. Now the question is, where do we use the remainder of our troops? Um, I'm saying, oh, okay, there's, uh, there's that notification. I'm saying we throw in the baby dragon up here, and that should be able to take care of a majority of these buildings up top, especially because there's really no defenses to take them out except for that air defense, but we don't have to worry about that for a quick second. Uh, and then over here, I mean, I can throw an archer right there. I can, oh, unless it's, nope, all right, that was the wrong play. There's that mortar that's going to cause us issues. Um, I can throw an archer over here. Hopefully there's no clan castle troops that get brought out. Okay, let's do that. Nice, nice, nice. Stay out of the range of the Archer Tower and the Air Defense. You did not do either. I hate you. Alright, we'll get the minion in right there. We're gonna throw in, uh, let's get in some barbs. Let's get an Archer. We're just gonna kinda go in for percentage here. Uh, just because we can get extra percentage equals extra loot equals better raid. Which I'm down for. So 20 seconds. Nice, we got the buildings on the right side picked off here. Now we're going for the buildings on the top left. And the only thing left is that, uh, that minion. So the minion's gonna kinda go to work there. But we just crushed that base with this strategy. And I'm guaranteeing you that we're not even using it remotely right. I, we're probably using it sort of the right way. But definitely not how it's used up at the top leagues. But there we go! 75% two-star on this base, getting a great amount of loot. Oh my god, that was super solid. And only five trophies, which is fine, because again, we got a ton of loot. That's really what I'm going for. I'm going for loot and trophies, so if we get either or uh, when the raid is over, I'm totally satisfied. As long as we're not losing. But 9.5 million gold, we should do an upgrade. You know, actually, where's that Where's that bomb tower? Oh, we do have air sweepers to upgrade. Oh man, those are, those are deadly. God, there's so much in this base that I just don't know that I have to upgrade. And I have to upgrade every... God, we're, it's going to be forever until we max out. God. So I'm so excited. 14 hours until our last level 3 Inferno Tower. Until we max out both of them. Where's that other bomb tower? Oh, it's right here. It is 10 million for a bomb tower upgrade. We're at 9.5 right now. I think I'm going to do probably one more attack off screen. And I'm just going to get that upgrading right away. And then we'll call You know what? No. We've got 9.5 million gold. I say we use all of it right now. Best way to go about that is doing an archer tower. I mean, we have to upgrade everything in the space eventually, right? So it really doesn't matter what order we do it in, as long as it's all getting done. Yeah, archer tower right here. We'll do this archer tower. It's gonna be a 9.5 million 10-day upgrade to get this over to level 15. We'll do that in 3, 2, 1. Bam! There we go! All our gold is gone. Uh, now I'm gonna have to wait till collectors kind of fill up, and then I can go out and raid again. Also, 178,000 dark elixir, which means the queen is very close. Less than 20k away from being upgraded to level 44, and then on to 45 to get her max out ability. Oh, that's sick. All right, well, let's get on to today's common question of the day. I'm calling that a success. And today's common question of the day comes from Aaron Sheen. And the question is, what do you think about the rumors about clan wars in the builder space? Do you think it will go ahead uh, or do something else big for the builder space? 100%. 55,000% they're going to bring Clan Wars over to the Builder's Base just because it'd be an easy update to add. And I feel like Supercell, they're all about easy updates, right? For the Halloween update, we had troops from Clash, Clash Royale 
come over to Clash of Clans, and that was about it, right? They're they're not doing too crazy things with this uh, with this entire base and game in general. So I do definitely think that Clan Wars will make its way over to Clash of Clans, uh, the Clash of Clans Builders base, that is this base over here. And actually we can collect some stuff and boost up some stuff. Let's do that right now. And we can do a little bit of cleaning. This is what I, whenever I boost something, this is exactly what I do. I just boost it up and then I'll go and remove all these annoying little trees that I don't want in my base. Uh, and then kind of just leave that there and then let my collectors get boosted up as well That's that's what I've been doing. I haven't done an attack yet. I'm waiting for uh, for a video But yes, I do think that we will see uh, Clan Wars come to this base and I, I'm sure of it just because it's doable. It'd be fun uh, And I'm kind of I'm waiting on that. We do have to get back in this base We have to do some upgrading. We have to do some attacking There's a lot to do in this base before we're ready for Clan Wars at a maxed out level um, But yes Clan Wars will definitely come to this base. I am a hundred percent convinced and uh, that, that would be fun I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Would you guys be down for Clan Wars in this base? Would you guys even participate? Do you guys even still play this base? Because uh, I know that it's a very very hard base to play if you're not spending gems um, so we're gonna have to we speaking of spending gems We got to get in here and spend some gems. We got to do this base But yes, I do expect clan wars to come to this base. I'm not sure when they're gonna do that I'm not sure if that will be the Christmas update I don't know what that's gonna be but yes clan wars will come to this base But that was uh that was today's video a little exciting video for you guys Hope you guys enjoyed the clash clans content I will hopefully keep it coming to the channel as much as physically possible But that's gonna about wrap it up for today's video If you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like leave your comment question of the day down in the comments below And I'll see you all in the next clash clans episode peace out the pretty girls in class still they never reply but never say never they never get caught on my mind i'm trying to get better and grind measure my effort and skill gets better in time fresher than ever and i am who i am no taking it back i'm alive and well